This is a Green Line train to Salt Lake Central. Welcome to my world, my real green world. We're at the track station downtown Salt Lake City, heading over to Art Space Commons. It's only two blocks. Let's get walking. It's your lucky day too, because we're hanging out at Art Space Commons. Come on, check this place out. There are a lot of things in life that are important to me. My Great Dane Lullaby, my family, and just having fun in this crazy world. My name is Dennis Deuce. And this blog is about sharing what my friends and I do to make our busy lives a little more green. Hi, I'm Jessica Nori, Executive Director of ArtSpace, a nonprofit. ArtSpace has gone solar because it's a responsible thing to do. What is ArtSpace? ArtSpace is a nonprofit real estate developer that's been around for over 30 years. Our mission is to revitalize neighborhoods by providing affordable housing um, as well as commercial spaces for artists, nonprofits, and small businesses. What brought you to ArtSpace Commons as opposed to other places you could have moved into? We work right now a lot on protecting Utah from the harmful effects of dirty energy and we and my position specifically work I work a lot on promoting clean energy and so when we had the opportunity to choose between competitively priced um, spaces and one of them had solar thermal solar PV was built on a reclaimed brownfield there's just you know for me I was <laughs> I was sold and pushing for this the whole time because this is what we're hoping people will will ultimately do. What was the reason you decided to make the move over here? Um, several reasons. We wanted to have more light coming in and the solar power was really a great thing because it it reduced a lot of our uh, power bills actually so and we like the fact of that being in a green building. What things have you done different with this project than previous projects? Art Space has now ventured into the green and sustainable uh, projects. This is our first Gold LEED certified project. We have gone to many green features, uh, including the solar, solar PV and solar hot water heating. What's the difference between solar PV and solar thermal? Solar PV um, pr uh, provides electricity and the solar thermal is for the hot water, um, not only for culinary, but also to heat the building. Uh, for the solar PV, it was really important for us because not only does it um, reduce our electricity usage, um, it also provides shade on our solar awnings for each of the units on the south side. Wait, your solar PV is shading the units. How does that work? It is actually on an awning on the south facing sides of the building, so it provides shade to the units. Which keeps them cooler? Which keeps them cooler and cuts down on costs even more. That is very ingenious. I, I love when people get creative with green technology and that's a really cool idea. Tell us a little bit about your experience with Sunlight Solar, the people who installed your PV. Sunlight Solar, uh, working with Mark and his crew, have they've made it really easy for Art Space and for all of us. We have never used solar before. It is our first time. They have, um, when the idea of the solar awnings came up, they were very open to, uh, to it as well as helping us come up with a system to install it. Uh, they've been very easy to work with. How long has uh, Sunlight Solar Systems been going? Three and a half years now, going on four. With the last uh, few years, the economy being how it is, and you starting just before then, right. it says a lot about how you're running your company, right. that you are 
still here and continuing to grow. Let's talk a little bit about the unique installation. Where are those solar panels? Uh, these solar panels are pretty cool. They're right above the window. So it's a passive solar awning design. Um, Spectrum engineers uh, laid it out for us. We designed it, we built it with them and we installed it and it works out really well for the customers. You can see the shade line right underneath the windows now. That's the passive solar effect. Um, and at the same time, gaining electrical credits. So they're simultaneously keeping the units cool in the summer. Correct. And creating electricity. Why should people come out and check out this particular project during the Utah Solar Tour? Well, they've got a couple reasons. You're downtown Salt Lake. You can always go and grab a bite to eat, get a drink, do what you need to do. It's right around the corner. Plus, it's the art space. You can see what goes on here. Not only is there a solar thermal, passive solar, solar PV, but they have commercial uh, space here available too. You can check out Hill, Utah, Wasatch Community Gardens, and all the other retailers that are on the first floor of this. There's a bakery so, down there too. There is. There's a bakery. There's a tattoo shop. Get, yep, you can get your dog walked. Get a, get a tattoo while your dog's being walked. Yeah, not bad. There you go. It's a good excuse for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> great. Well, check out the stuff uh, Sunlight Solar has done. Right. Best place to find us is on the web, sunlightsolar.pro. P-R-O. That was fantastic. Loved Art Space Commons. You have got to come check it out. It's part of the Utah Solar Tour, September 24th all over Utah. Check out the links below. Till next week, have a great green week.